Alright, what is going on guys? So today in this video, I'll be showing you how to get custom ringtones for your iPhone and this does work on A12 using the Uncover Jailbreak on uh, iOS 12.4. So, and, and I'm pretty sure this will work for any version, even if you're running the Checkering Jailbreak on iOS 13. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure it works because there's no reason why I shouldn't and I'll, you'll see why in a second. So of course, you need a jailbreak and um, on top of that you need Filesa, which you can get easily. So just download it from Cydia. Save the ringtone you want to put on it. Now, for example, I have it in the download. Now I have my ringtone here saved in the downloads folder in the files. And I have it as an MP3. It's fine. It's fine if it's MP3. I don't think it matters the format. You'll see why in a second. So without further ado, let's begin. Now this audio I'm using here is from NTS. So it is non-copyright sounds. But obviously I wouldn't use this as my ringtone. This is just so YouTube doesn't take down my video. But... You can use this for literally any song you want. Now, I'm not going to show you how to get the MP3s on your phone. That you should be able to do, whether it's an old MP3 or you bought legally. You just download it and put it to files on. So, here's what you got to do. Go to the folder where your ringtone is, for example, the downloads. And then just click the uh, tab and then open a new tab. So, let me just do that. Open a new tab. And then what you want to do is just go all the way back to the slash right here. So, now you're in the root directory. So, what you want to do now is go to library. Sure, let go to ringtones. Now, here's the mistake a lot of people make. They just convert their custom sound as an MP... As an M... Now, here's the mistake a lot of people make. They download their song and they put it in the ringtones folder and they convert it as an MP4 and they think that's all they gotta do, but no. If you do that, it will actually not show up in the settings. Because what iOS does is it actually checks for all these names and if it finds any name that doesn't match this, it doesn't show it, basically. So... Again, click the tabs, go back to your song, click edit, click it, click copy, and then go back to your ringtones, and click paste. And before you do anything, actually, go to your settings, sound, haptics, ringtone, and you want to check what ringtone you have on right now. So I have illuminate, so keep that in mind. So go back to Falza, and um, you know how my ringtone was set to illuminate? So out of all of these, literally find anything else other than the ringtone you have on right now, which is Illuminate. So since right here, since Illuminate is my ringtone right now, I'm going to avoid that. So literally go to any other one. For example, something like opening right here. So what you want to do is just click edit, click opening, rename. And you want to rename something you'll remember in case you want to put it back. So just put, for example, opening one. Now what you want to do is scroll down to your ringtone and you want to rename that to opening and then dot M4R. So once you rename it to M4R and then whatever ringtone you choose, for example opening. Now when I go back to settings and click opening, as you can see it plays. Now I'm not going to keep playing it because it is copyrighted but as you can see it works and the best part about it is since you overrided the default ringtones, even if you're not in a jailbroken state, like even if you reboot into a normal non-jailbroken state, your ringtone will still work, which is pretty cool. So now it's not efficient. Obviously, I hope a tweak developer makes this, you know, convenient. I hope they automated it and I hope it converts it to real M4R. Now, of course, it's not real M4R, but it does work. And uh, for some song, it might not work because um, some songs are meant to be as MP3. So you just got to do trial and error. So if you change it from MP3 to MP M4R, and then you try to go back to settings and play the ringtone and it's not playing. Then you just gotta find another song or you can use an online uh, MP3 to M4R converter. And then download that and it will convert it for you and then put it back to files and do the exact same thing. That's pretty much it. I mean, like it does work. It's not convenient like I said before, but if it works, it works. So yeah, that has been it guys. That has been the video. Leave a comment below and subscribe. Peace.